Hi there. Now for this question, we've got to express in the form a plus bi, 3 plus 6i divided by 4 minus 2i, minus 1 minus i, all divided by 2 plus i. So as usual, if you'd like to have a go at this question, I'll just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, you might want to fast forward just to check your answer out against mine, or I'll take you slowly through the work solution. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So for this question then, what we need to do is multiply top and bottom of the fraction by the complex conjugate of the denominators. So let's take the first fraction here. We've got 3 plus 6i and it's divided then by 4 minus 2i. So the complex conjugate of the denominator here, 4 minus 2i, is 4 plus 2i. So we multiply at the top by 4 plus 2i and the bottom of the fraction by 4 plus 2i. So if you're unsure of that step, rationalizing a complex number when it comes to division, do go back and check those video tutorials that I did on those. So we now got the next fraction, so I'll copy that in. It's minus all of 1 minus i divided by 2 plus i. And for this, to rationalize this one, we multiply the top and bottom by the complex conjugate of the denominator here. We've got 2 plus i, so we switch the sign here to 2 minus i. So 2 minus i then over 2 minus i. And then when it comes to this term here, we need to multiply 3 plus 6i with 4 plus 2i, first of all. So 3 times 4 is 12. Then we've got 3 times 2i is 6i, and 6i times 4 is 24i. So that's going to give us a total of 30i. And then we have 6i times the 2i, that's 12i squared, but i squared is minus 1, so 12 times minus 1 is minus 12. And that's all divided by, and for the bottom here, we get 4 times 4, which is 16. And then we've got 4 times 2i, which is 8i, but then we have minus 2i times 4, which is minus 8i. So those imaginary terms cancel one another out. Then we're left with minus 2i times plus 2i, which is minus 4i squared. Minus 4 times negative 1, because i squared is negative 1, gives us plus 4. Okay, so we create a real number in the denominator by multiplying top and bottom by the complex conjugate of 4 minus 2i. When it comes to this second term here, what we've got is minus then, 1 times the 2 is 2, 1 times the minus i is minus i, and then you've got minus i times 2 here, that's minus a further 2i, so it's going to be minus 3i. Minus i now times minus i is plus i squared, but i squared is negative 1, so that's going to be minus 1 there. And then that's all divided by 2 times 2, which is 4, and then you've got 2 times minus i is minus 2i, and then plus i times 2 is plus 2i. So the i terms cancel one another out. You're left now with plus i times minus i, so that's going to be minus i squared. But i squared is minus 1, so that's plus 1 there. And now if we just tidy this up a bit further, the 12 minus 12 cancels one another out, and that just leaves us with 30i, and that's over 16 plus 4, which is 20. And for this last fraction, we've got minus, and then we've got 2 minus 1, which is 1, and then minus 3i, and that is all over 5. And what I notice now is I can reduce this fraction, 30 over 20, if I divide top and bottom by 10, I'm going to end up with 3i all over 2 there. Okay, 3 over 2i. And so I can expand this second fraction here. I've got 3 over 2i then, 
minus one fifth and then plus three fifths i. So we're nearly there, we just need to group our terms together. Start with the minus a fifth and then for the imaginary terms here, three over two i plus three fifths i. If I turn them into tenths here, I've got 15 tenths plus another six tenths i. That's going to be a total of 21 tenths i. All right, and that's in the form a plus b i. If we're asked to work out what a and b were, then a would be minus a fifth and b would obviously be 21 over 10. And there we go. All right, so I hope you're able to get that. If not, at least see where you may have gone wrong. Okay?